Yeah, guys. All right, so uh, Sunbeam Microwave. Scrapped. The, uh, when this thing was in service, the, um, vac the, um, fluorescent display here. It doesn't look like, no, it's not a vacuum fluorescent. It's just a, a diode type display or whatever they call it. The, um, timer system would start up, but there was something problem going on in there. And it would just not like turn on everything else, like the transformer, the fan, and everything. It just counted itself down. The um, parts in there are just so weak that it won't cook a thing. Like it takes like probably 15 minutes. It takes about 25 minutes just to, to unthaw something in this thing. Even on like even by um, power, like a little bit of boost going on there. So like. You don't really see it all that well, do you? Yeah, you can't really see it in there just because of lighting, but yeah. I would, um, you could put it on reheat, it wouldn't do anything. You could put it on power, you can, it wouldn't do anything. Put it on speed, if you put it on by speed, speed defrost, it would um, only defrost some bits and it won't defrost others. It's not strong enough. Oh, another word, word of caution. Word of caution. Actually... Let me get the clamshell off on the outside, and I'll give you guys the word of caution. Give me a second. All right. Now, word of caution. I think I took off the, the metal. Now, word of caution. Whatever you do, if you're not one of those people who don't know what they're doing, don't do this. The, um, like, just don't. The, um, these microwaves... These these particular microwaves, these care they when you get um, 120 volts pumped into these things, these will pro these transformers here will produce a voltage of 2,000. The um, as soon as you unplug these things right off the bat, I've let this sit for three days. If you uh, what you do like if you take this if you go and unplug this right off the hop and you go to uh, start serving in this thing, this little machine right here is going to carry 500 volts of pure electricity. You touch that side, it's going to blow you right across the room and probably kill you. So you want to you wanna make sure that this thing has been sitting long enough so it is discharged. Here's a, um, so here's another, like a high voltage sticker, it's just falling apart. It's got so hot in there that it just melted it off. Inside here is your um, is one of the goodies that comes in through. This right here is for your. Um, this is your. Uh, this right here is the, the actual radiation system. Like it, like the. Um, let me open it up. See right here, the plate that sits right here, that plate in there. Is hiding all your um, your gun, your electron gun. The uh, might as well take this this off. <clears throat> this microwave is crusty, and it was heading to the junkyard before I were to get it. So I'm gonna make a lot of use out of this. So it's been sitting for three days. There's no uh, power to it whatsoever. The uh, it's been it's sitting there. It's been sitting for three days straight up, so it's uh, it should be fine. It's just pray to God it is. <laughs> the um, letting it sit, going through all that will do it for you. And it looks like the transformer has gotten pretty hot. Like in some spots, it's melty, like really melty. Like there's like some glue or whatnot right here. The wires here, I'm gonna use them for other. Components if I need to make anything So yeah Allow me to turn this microwave over and we'll start looking at all the parts a little bit better All right, I unhooked the uh, The big ass capacitor these things if you need some high voltage application These will do it for you These old things the capacitors that are on the ends here will be perfect use for um Working on radios and whatnot if you need them, because they're usually fine. The um, brain box of the operation uh, 
was screwing up. So here's kind of a drop down transformer. This is a step up monster. You could probably put some um, in excess of maybe a lot of volts. <laughs> Usual. Oh yeah, here we go. See the the um, gal of 1000 U dash, like dash 1000 U dash 2, 120 volts, 60 hertz. This is a class 220 transformer. The, um, it's got the UL stamp stuck on there. The, um, fan is another of, another one of use. You can use this fan if you need to. Like this is, this fan would be perfect use for a, um, for example, if you want to build an air conditioning unit, this will work. If you want to build a, uh, like some sort of ventilation system, like for a bilge or something, this will do. If you want to uh, just have something like this around the house or something, this will do it. Me personally, I'm going to use this component for building a, uh, for building a uh, air conditioning unit. The um, magnets that are in here, I will uh, use. There's more um, more dangers in that if you're wondering. You do not want to be powering one of these things up with this un like unearthed or exposed because you can go blind with this gear. It's 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 um, microwaves you're dealing with. It's a certain frequency that can melt things. So it yeah. Sorry about the shake. I had an itch in my arm. Yeah, the um, there's three relays in here. You got one there, you got one down there, and one down there. These ones are kind of like your on-off style relays. It looks like they uh, looks like they're heat type. Get they click and they um, put more juice into it and everything. All right, allow me to get into the um, the uh, part right there. Just a heads up. It looks like there's been some shorting going on there. See a little black spot right there? Interesting. There's that light bulb that burned out. This had a, um, this uh, light bulb was burned out and it was running for another... It was running, it was running for probably a good, good few m couple months or so after this burned out. So it was showing you it was it was running out of its running out of time its days were numbered. Right. Let me continue on here. Alright. I got it done here. Since I know that there was junk gonna be junk it's gonna be crushed and knelt down anyways, I said go ahead and just just let go of some of my uh some whatever pent up frustration I had kicking around, so Yay. You flatten that down, make it a little easier to move. Interesting enough, it had a wiring diagram and it like it had a photo effect schematic hiding underneath it. Alright. So here's where they managed to pull out the um brain box fuse panel capacitor. I'm gonna keep the capacitor as is. I'm gonna take apart the fuse panel. I'm gonna take that apart there, and I'm gonna take this apart. And this apart. Alright, onward with these little guys first. I'm going to do those first, little sensors. Shouldn't be that fast, so I'll do it. Since I don't, I don't want to do it on camera because I don't uh, have a tripod. I do have a tripod, but I don't want to spend the time making a, a thingy to hold this phone on my hand. Right, come on. Turns out to be a switch. It's really just gold plate, nothing, nothing special there, see, focus you dick, ah, boy, come on, focus for me, yellow, thank you, see that right there, Nothing too special there. You need too much of a nightmare to take apart. Alright. On to the next round. Might as well just chuck the other one. Synchronous, mo synchronous motor. 
I'll uh, use it for decoration. Like the um, the gears that are in here, all the gears that are sitting in here, I will use for decoration. It'll be that's what they'll be used for in my case. All right, you see right here. This is the inside of, syn of the synchronous motor. The um, synchronous motors were became pretty much popular uh, somewhere right right after the Great Depression. I know they're a little earlier than that, but synchronous motors became really popular, which in like the most new modernish clocks at the time. So really, the um, the synchronous motor for a microwave is descended from the same system from a uh, from a uh, clock. See what I mean? And this would spin back and forth. Look at the turn. This would spin your spin your turntable. So it would just be. Whipping her. Like it would be going a little slower than this here. But yeah, I'll see if I can get some power to it or something and see if I can uh, get it to work. Give me a sec. There you go, here's a little bit of copper. Grade A copper out of that synchronous motor. Alright, this is gonna be a part two series, I guess. Alright, see you in the next one.